Hello, Internet. We're there. It's the final part of 2019 VHS collection ride, and it's been a pretty wild ride, if I'm honest. And I've got one last absolute gold mine of stuff to show you, and there's a complete shit ton of them. So I should not waste any more time rambling on. We are going to get started. So the first one we have here is a small box, for us to say. It's Akira Kurosawa's Dreams, The Past, Present and Future, The Thoughts and Images of One Man, For All Men, One Man's Dreams, For Every Dreamer. This is a Warner Home Video release from 1990. I'm I'm not entirely sure why Warner Brothers did small box rental tapes, but, you know, there's quite a lot of them. This one had one. The Treasure Island movie had one, whenever that was released. Um, Batman Returns had one. And, yeah, it comes from Archway Video. We're going back to that old gold mine. And has the genuine security sticker. Next one, with the rest of these are all big boxes. The first one of them is Pulp Fiction. Girls like me don't make invitations like this to just anyone. With John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman, Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Amanda Plummer, Plummer Maria De Medeiros, Ving Rhames, Eric Stoltz, Rosanna Arquette, Christopher Walken, and Bruce Willis. It's an Irish copy. This 18 is just a sticker. This is a Touchstone Home Video release from 1995. What a movie. Honestly, it is a banger of a movie. If you've not seen it, you must. Um, 250 per night charge of overdue. Oof. Next one is A Little Princess from the author of The Secret Garden. From the from the forests of India to the streets of New York comes the remarkable adventure of a little girl whose courage is as big as her dreams. This is a Warner Brothers Family Entertainment release from 1996, I think. Yeah, 1996. And this is directed by Alfonso Cuaron, who went on to do, among other things, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Children of Men, Gravity, Roma, and th this was his first English language movie, printed July 31st, 1996. Next one is Billy Madison with Adam Sandler. Billy Madison's going back to school, way back. This is a CIC video release from 1997. You can tell it's late because it's got that Universal logo on the, on the cover. And this comes from Willington Store Post Office, whatever that means. Next one is Meeting Venus with Glenn Close. Love, lust, betrayal, chaos. And the overture hasn't even begun. This is the Warner Home Video release from 1991. I've not seen this movie, but it's got Glenn Close in it, so I'm going to assume it's going to be a good time and that she's going to be really good. Hello again, Archway Video. Been a while. Next one is Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit with Whoopi Goldberg. The hilarious sequel to Sister Act, according to the Daily Mirror. This is a Touchstone Home Video release from 1994. Um, I've not seen this, but the first Sister Act is a banger of a movie. So, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one, but we'll see. I'm going to give it a watch at some point. Next one is Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. The heartwarming comedy that will arouse your appetite. This is another Touchstone Home Video release. This one's from 1996. This is... I don't know why it says closed captions when... I mean, they technically are closed captions by default because there's English subtitles. But, you know, I don't really see the point of having to specify that. This is... The print date's covered up by something that's been ripped. Next one is Give Me a Break with Michael J. Fox. He's just discovered the next big child star. That's just one problem. She's wrecking his life! This is yet another Touchstone Home Video release. This one is from 1904. And... Oh, Archway Video, why do I have so many from you? It's whack. Next one is No Sweat with Richard Pryor and Fred Williamson. Jailbreaks, Land Swindles, Safe Kraken, No Sweat. This is a Mogul release from 1987. This is, I got this the last time I went to the Chiswick Car Boot. Um, and it was the only videotape I could find there, but you know, whatever. Next one is Les Visiteurs. They weren't born yesterday. 
Monty Python meets Blackadder in a riotous time travel comedy. This is... Um... Who is this from? It's an Arrow Films release distributed by World Cinema. I think this is from 1994 or 5, I'm not 100% sure. Arrow video. Um, this was remade in the English language as Just Visiting, which apparently sucks, but this one's apparently good fun. Next one is Ladybugs with Rodney Dangerfield in a league of their own. This is a Warner Home video release. This one's from 1993. Rodney Dangerfield died on my birthday in 2004. I'm not entirely sure how to feel about that. Comes with the embossed case of whoever these people are. And Archway Video, who'd have thunk it? Next one is The Hour of the Pig. The case is a dog. The defendant is a pig, and the law is an ass. This is a Curzon video release through Fox Video from 1993. I've not seen this movie, but I'm gonna imagine it's absolutely fucking bonkers considering the title. It comes in a Fox Video embossed case. I don't even need to say anything at this point. Next one is The Hours with Nicole Kidman, Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, and, well, I thought there was another name there that wasn't Nicole Kidman, whatever. Anyways, this is a Miramax Home Entertainment release from 2003, I believe, but it was purchased February 23rd, 2004. I've not seen this movie, but if Nicole Kidman won the Oscar for it, then it's gotta be something. And fuck the consumer advice, I guess. That was on the back, anyway. Next one is Chicago, with Catherine Zeta-Jones, Renee Zellweger, and Richard Gere. The positioning of all these, these, these cast members' names is whack. But why is she higher than her... The, 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 sexy and sizzling, according to the Times. This is another Miramax from Entertainment release. This one, this one is from 2003. Um, hold on. That is weird. This has black reels, while the hours doesn't. I don't know why, considering I'm assuming this was released before. Um... Yeah. The next one is Six Days, Seven Nights with Harrison Ford and Anne Hetch. I don't know how you say her name. A perfect combination of comedy and adventure, according to Gammons Incorporated. This is a Touchstone Home Video release from 1999. This, from my memory, this has a really good trailer reel on it. I uploaded it, so go check it out there. Has an M label advertising Armageddon, which I remember is one of the trailers on it. Next one is Air Force One with Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman. The most enjoyable blockbuster of the year, according to Barry Norman. God rest his soul. There's another Touchstone Home Video release. This one's from 1997. I've not seen this either, but I'm going to imagine it's an incredibly good time. And that's, that's what I've heard, anyway. Action, hijack, terrorists. Sex and unity, none. Damn it. That's what I was hoping for. Next one is The Talented Mr. Ripley. With Matt Damon, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Jude Law. This is a Miramax and Paramount release. Well, it's a Miramax release, but I've, I'm going to assume Paramount has something to do with the making of the movie. And I think they released it in the States. Don't hold me to that. It has an end label advertising The Insider, which is one of the trailers. Next one is Jackie Brown. With Pam Greer, Samuel L. Jackson, Robert Forster, Bridget Fonda, Michael Keaton, and Robert De Niro. Tarantino's finest movie to date, according to Time Out. This is another Miramax Home Entertainment release, this one from 1998. This is the only Quentin Tarantino movie to be rated a 15 certificate here. Every other one is an 18. And, I mean, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood hasn't even been rated here yet. Because it's not coming out for ages, but I'm going to imagine that's going to get an 18 as well. Next one is Behind Enemy Lines with Owen Wilson and Gene Hackman. His only weapon is his will to survive. This is a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release from 2002. And look at that absolute unit of a trailer reel there. That's what Fox were good at. Has an end label advertising the deep end, which is one of the trailers. Next one is The Fugitive with Harrison Ford. A murdered wife of one arms man. An obsessed detective, The Chase Begins. This is a one home video release from 1994. Oh, if I could get it open, that would be marvelous. Look at that unit of a trailer reel. Because that's 
how Warner Bros. rolled in 1993 and 1994. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm okay with that. Coming soon to rent, DAF! Covered up by the Pointless 15 sticker. Obviously, it's Dave. This is one of the trailers. And comes with the security sticker there. Next one is Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman, and Richard Harris. This is another Warner Home Video release. This one's from 1993. Hold up. There we go. Um. Bang over the movie, obviously, because I mean, when I mean, Clint Eastwood's track record isn't 100% perfect, but when it when it hits, he hits. Printed August 7th, 1993, and it comes with the security seal here. Next one is Judge Dredd with Sylvester Stallone, which is a Guild Home video release from 1995. You can tell it's a late Guild release because it's sales and distribution by Fox Guild. Still comes with Just Guild embossed on the cover though, and that is a print date of, of I'm going to assume December 4th, 1995. Next one is Moulin Rouge with Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor from the visionary director of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Brilliant, spectacular, and inspired, according to Coast newspaper, which is a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release from 2002, but purchased. February 11th, 2003. I'm not seeing this movie. Tape's blue, don't know why. Anyways, I'm not seeing this movie, but I've seen his Baz Luhrmann's Great Gatsby, which I hated. So that doesn't really bode well for this. Do I even need to say anything? We've been 14 videos. I don't need to keep pointing this out, I don't think. Next one is GoldenEye, with, with Pierce Brosnan as James Bond 007, which is an MGM UA home video release from 1996. No limits, no fears, no substitutes. And this is, this is a good movie. I wouldn't quite say it's the best Bond movie out there. If you want my honest opinion as to what the best Bond movie is, that would be Spectre. No, not Spectre, Skyfall. Skyfall Spectre's not very good, but Skyfall is a banger. This is printed May 15th, 1996. Property of Universal Video. We've had quite a few videos from them, haven't we? Ow! Fuck. Next time, next time, next one, I just shown The Fugitive, and now I have it, sequel, US Marshals, with Tommy Lee Jones, Wesley Snipes, and Robert Downey Jr., the cop who won't stop his back. For this time, he's chasing down a lot more than a fugitive. This is a Warner Home video release from 1998. I've not seen this, but I'm told it's not very good, and my tape, my copy of it doesn't really play all that well. Um, yeah. Next one is Heavenly Creatures, two teenage schoolgirls, one unspeakable crime. Not all angels are innocent. This is a Touchstone Home Video release from 1995. This is Peter Jackson's first movie outside of New Zealand. And I've not seen it, but I can imagine from most of Peter Jackson's other filmography that it's going to be a damn good time. No, 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 you know what I mean. It's going to be a good movie. Next one is the Bourne Supremacy with Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. They stole his identity. Now he wants it back. This is a universal release from 2004. Um, it's a very late universal release, obviously. This different style label here. There's no black reels for some reason. I guess that was the thing they only did sporadically because some universal tapes do have it and some don't. I don't know. Next one is About Schmidt with Jack Nicholson. Which is an entertainment and video release from 2003. This case is royally fucked. Look at that. And the tape doesn't play well at all, which is, I suppose, is a pretty ominous sign. This is printed June 10th, 2003. Next one is Iris with Judy Gents, Jim Broadbent, and Kate Winslet. Her greatest talent was for life. Judy Dench, a performance of genius, according to the Daily Telegraph, and a brilliant British drama, according to the Sunday Mirror. This is a Miramax Entertainment release from, I think, 2001 or 2, I'm not 100% sure. I, I have this on DVD as well. Um, yeah. Next one is Free Willy. How far would you go for a friend? A friendship you could never imagine. An adventure you'll never forget. It'd be easier to remember if you didn't spoil it on the fucking cover. That would, you know, that'd be great. 
give people a reason to watch the movie rather than give one of the final shots um, the, the main well, have one of the final shots be your main promotional image. Anyways, one home video release printed August 9th, 1994 and it comes with the security sticker there. Uh, hold on, I'm just going to bring the next two piles well, the last two piles actually closer. Oh. Oh, I tell you, my back is killing me. <coughs> Anyways, the next one is The Madness of King George. With Ni Nigel Hawthorne, Helen Mirren, Ian Holm, Amanda Donohoe, Rupert Graves, and Rupert Everett as the Prince of Wales. His Majesty was all-powerful and all-knowing, but he wasn't quite all there. This is a Columbia Tricycle Home Video release from 1995. This is a good movie. I also saw... Um, the recent, there was a recent production of the play, it was based on with Mark Gatiss as King George, that was a banger as well. Comes with the red spine on the cassette you're now watching, and all this other stuff. Hold on. Be gone. Next one is Shakespeare in Love, with Gwyneth Paltrow, Joseph Fiennes, Jeffrey Rush, Colin Firth, Ben Affleck, and Judi Dench. A must-see classic romantic comedy, sparkling with wit and wonderful performances, according to Chris Tookie of Gannis Incorporated. This is a universal release from 1999. How um, Saving Private Ryan and Life is Beautiful lost best picture to this, I will never know. Um, it comes in a Fox Pathé Home Entertainment and Boss Case for some reason. Um, that blockbuster label is truly fucked, so I guess I had to purchase it. And you can tell it's a very early Universal Pictures release because of that, that um, catalog number, which is still a remnant of the way Polygram did it. Next one is Me, Myself, and Irene with Jim Carrey and Wene Zellweger, which is a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release from 2001. From the director's affair, something about Mary, one of whom now has multiple Oscars for Green Book, which is... I mean, I enjoyed it, but, like, did it deserve to win Best Picture? Of course it fucking didn't. I don't know why it did. When Black Klansman was a thing that existed and most other movies that came out last year. Anyways, enough ranting. Next one is Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, with Jim Carrey. New animals, new adventures, same hair. This is a Warner Home Video release from 1996. This has a pretty good trailer reel on it, including a bunch of adverts for Chessington World of Adventures. If you own this or the, rent or the retail tape, don't watch it, the movie, because it has about a minute and a half missing from it. Because, you know, the BBSC are dickheads like that printed. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it's either December 6th or June 12th. I'm going to assume June 12th. I don't really know why, but, yeah. Next one is Sphere, with Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone, and Samuel L. Jackson. Terror can fill any space. This is a Warner Home Video release from 1998, but purchased May 17th, 1999. And there's more of that on there. And an end label with the content advisor. Next one is Philadelphia with Tom Hanks and Denzel Washington. No one would take on his case until one man is willing to take on the system. Uh, as advertised on TV. This is a Columbia Trice Home video release from 1994. I already talked about this movie when I showed the NTSC that I still have. But I'm going to say it again. It's a really good movie. You should watch it when you get the chance. Comes from an off license in Southwest London. Next one is The Hunted, starring Benji, which is a Walt Disney Home Video release from 1988. Um, it's a, one of the. I think it's, this is the earliest Walt Disney Home Video rental tape that I have. Um, I know earlier ones existed. There's those ones rank released of some of the animated movies like Pinocchio and that, which my uni library used to have, but now they got rid of it. Um, yeah, anyways, this comes with a security seal and the white tape guard for whatever reason, and these big chungus ass reels. And if, um, if this were closed, that would be absolutely marvelous. Ah, fucking hell, get in. Ah, yeah. Next one is Death Becomes Her. With Meryl Streep, Bruce Willis, and Goldie Horn, which is a CIC video release from 
1990, I think, four, for some reason comes in a case which was used to buy Gladiator on January 12th, 2002. I have no idea why, but anyways, this comes hold up, with um, the genuine CIC security sticker, so you know it's not a bootleg. Next one is As You Like It by William Shakespeare, directed by Christine Edzard, starring James Fox, Cyril Cusack, Andrew Tiernan, Emma Croft, and Griff Reese Jones. This is a Buena Vista home video release from 1993, the only specifically Buena Vista release that I have. Um, I'm pretty sure that um, Buena Vista fucked it and forgot to print the U certificate on the sticker label. This is, this is a sticker. And the print date is covered up by a sticker. So, I mean, it's still got the security sticker, so I know it's genuine and they ha and it's not a pirate that just completely fucked it. But, you know. Still really bizarre. And also the case is slightly fucked. Whatever. And also I ordered this because I was expecting it to have the Simon Bates U warning on it. It doesn't... It has no opening at all, which is a bit unfortunate, but whatever. Next one is The Paper with Michael Keaton, Glenn Close, Marissa Tomei, Randy Quaid, and Robert Duvall. A behind-the-lines look at work, marriage, and other forms of combat. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. This is a CIC video release from 1995. Has a blockbuster sticker of some sort, but I can't see it. Ah, comes in a universal embossed case, and has this pretty lame end label sticker there. Uh-oh, controversy time. Next one is Bowling for Columbine, the Michael Moore movie, a Momentum Pictures release from 2003. I've not seen this, but I've seen his Oscar speech. We're out of nowhere. Well, I suppose not really out of nowhere because everything Michael Moore does is politically motivated. He started slinging absolute shit at, um, at George W. Bush and criticizing his handling of the Iraq war. And he got booed off the stage. And yeah, no, it was a mess. Anyways, this was printed on April 26, 2003. Next one is Chaplin. He made the whole world laugh and cry, and he will again. This is a Guild Home video release from 1993. I'm not seeing this movie, but I'm told Robert Downey Jr. is absolutely phenomenal in it. Has an end label advertising the river runs through it, which is one of the trailers, and it's got the Guild security sticker there, and the embossed case. Next one is Capturing the Freedmans, which is a Tartan video release from 2004. I've not seen this. I'm not entirely sure what it's about. I should probably look that up. I think, if I recall correctly, it's some sort of nonsery. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Oh, boy. Next one is Four Weddings and a Funeral with Hugh Grant and Andy McDowell. Five good reasons to stay single. I don't get why there's a 15 sticker there. It's right there. Anyways, this is a Columbia TriStar Home Video release from 1994. This is such a good movie. Aside from... Is it raining? I hadn't noticed. Like, that, apart from that one line, this is a damn good movie. Comes in a Columbia TriStar Home Video and Boss Case. There are two versions of this. A blockbuster version, which has all sorts of stuff framing um, the trailer reel, and a normal version that doesn't... Minus the blockbuster version, as you can tell from... Well, the B and the catalog number, the fact that there's a blockbuster sticker right there, that's the first thing I should have pointed out. And this end label. Next one is In the Line of Fire with Clint Eastwood, John Malkovich, and someone else I can't see. I also can't see the tagline, that's annoying. But anyways, this is another Climate Tristar Home Video release, but this, this is also from 1994. Um, I've not seen this, but I'm gonna imagine it's a pretty good movie. It comes with the red spine on the cassette you're now watching. I'm not sure why they stopped doing this, but like, you know, I, mean, I, quite, I quite like finding it on videos. I guess other people didn't. Ooh. Next one is The Silence of the Lambs with Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins, and Scott Glenn. Dr. Hannibal Lecter, brilliant, cunning, and psychotic. Clarice Starling, FBI, brilliant, vulnerable, and alone. She must trust him to stop the killer. This is a 2020 vision release from 1991. This is an inc absolutely incredible movie. I think I mentioned that in another part where I had um, Hannibal 
I have I haven't seen Hannibal. I've not seen Red Dragon either. But the original Silence of the Lambs is phenomenal. Comes on 20 Twenty Original Boss Case and was purchased from Ritz Video on January eighth, nineteen ninety four. Comes with the Grey Spine on the cassette you're now watching. And 3225, not entirely sure what that means. <sighs> Come on, close. And I was perfectly on time with the music there because I'm a madman. Next one is The Freshman with Marlon Brando and Matthew Broderick. Taking care of the family pet is a big responsibility, especially when it belongs to THE family. This is another 2020 vision release, also from 1991. Very, very early. Also comes in the 2020 Vision Embossed Case. This one, bizarrely, does not have the grey spine on the cassette you're now watching. And it doesn't have any type of security sticker anywhere. There's some printings on the bottom. The, um, the anti-recording thing there hasn't been ripped off, so I'm, I'm convinced it's still genuine. But it's just weird that it doesn't have any of the other extra measures there. And the final video for this part, and the final video for this whole series of videos as a whole. Damn, I've been filming this for like the last two weeks, it's been a while, but um, here we go. Final video is Backbeat with Cheryl Lee and Stephen Dorff. He had to choose between his best friend, the woman he loves, and the greatest rock and roll band in the world. This is... A, Col a Columbia TriStar Home video release from 1994, and I've not seen this, but considering it's about the Beatles and stuff, I'm going to assume it's a good time. Um, I don't get how to format this, because if you can see on the, on the front cover, it looks like it's formatted as one word, but on the, on the sticker label, it's two words. Um, someone hit me up. I, I always assume it's just one word. It makes more sense like that, I suppose. I also still don't understand why the hologram is, look, cuts off the logos in the way it does here. Comes with um, the red spine on the cassette you are now watching. And also a Columbia TriStar embossed case. And that, as they say, is that. 14 parts, about 400 and something videos, endless hilarity, Banging tunes. Um, we're done. <laughs> um, I've, I mean, I've had a great time filming all these. It's been a while. Getting back into the swing of things. If you've enjoyed, I hope you've enjoyed these. If you have, that's great. If you haven't, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thankful you came to watch in the first place. Um, I'm going back up to uni tomorrow, so unfortunately, I can't. Well, tomorrow as I film this, which is Wednesday the 24th. So, unfortunately, I can't do many openings at all. Or oh, I, I don't know if I'll actually be able to do any. But I'm going to be back in London in about a month for an extended period of time. I mean, about a week after my exams are done. So, I'm going to try and get openings done then. In the meantime, I sincerely hope you've all enjoyed, enjoyed all these many parts. Um... If you've sat through all of them, that's some fucking dedication. I'm impressed. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. I'm signing off. <laughs>